Okay, we're here today with Gerald Matchell, who's the Vice President for KTM R&D on the street side of things. And we've been showing off uh, a new system uh, which we're bringing out in the near future, ACC, Adaptive Cruise Control, and also Blind Spot Detection. So I wanted to ask you, Gerald, a little bit more about these systems, why we're developing them, and, and when we could expect to see them. We have already a normal cruise control on our bikes, and uh, we saw this more and more traffic on, uh, on the road. It's uh, important also to go here the next step to give the, the rider a little bit more safety, that he keeps a safe distance to the vehicle in front of him. And also we, we think that this technology, when we use a surrounding sensor, which is then mounted a radar sensor, gives us also the opportunity for even more functions. So riding on board the bike, how does the system work then? So you operate it like a normal cruise control. What, what happens in, in this adaptive situation? You choose your target speed and you can also choose then your safety distance to the vehicle in front of you. And then uh, as long as the vehicle in front of you is slower than the target speed he is controlling the speed uh, on his own so it means he is accelerating and decelerating on his own by using the throttle and or the brake. We also saw today the blind spot detection, which is, again, you said working using the sensor technology. So uh, how does this work for the, or benefit the rider? You always have in your mirrors, you have a blind spot, but you do not see. And we all know that it's very dangerous with a motorcycle, these situations. As it is now on this prototype, we have some LEDs mounted in the mirror. And uh, if you look into the mirror and if you see no vehicle, nothing there, but still then the LED is on, so you see there is, there is something there and uh, you know, okay, then uh, there is something beside me, so I'm, I cannot uh, change the lane. And when can we expect to see these, these systems? Obviously they're prototypes now, but obviously there's a full development program, so when we will see the, the finished article? Yeah, it, for sure it will still take, take a while to bring this to market, so it's uh, for sure not the next and not also the the year after this so it will take a little bit longer because now we are in intensive testing both of these systems has to be proven really in real situations so we develop them now to a stage where they are basically ready for for serial uh, production and then test them intensive on on street use with so millions of uh, kilometers so that we really know that the nothing happens that you have no misdetection, that uh, you have no failures, and this takes time. Thank you for your time, Gerald, and uh, we look forward to what the future brings on the uh, electronic side with KTM.